we're going to go ahead and set up our homeroom folder. You'll need a folder and then the three labels that I give you. The first thing you need to do is write your name on the label that says homeroom folder. Once you've done that, you're simply going to take that label, make sure you have your name on it where it says name. You're going to unpeel it and you're going to stick it to the front here. Now, I'm not unpeeling mine because I'm holding the iPad with one hand and I don't feel like I can do a good job of that, but I do want you to stick it to the front of your folder. Now, once you have that label, you'll notice you have two more. One says return to school and one says keep at home. So we're going to open our folder to the inside and we're going to place these two labels. We're going to start on this side where, with our label return to school and we're going to stick it there. So anything that goes in this pocket, you'll need to return to school. So if it's a form I need your parents to fill out or if it's something that's from the office that you need to return like um, t-shirt money order or something like that, it would go in that pocket. And on this side, you're gonna place the label that says keep at home. So this is anything that you do not need to return to me. It's just something that you need to give your family. So you'll stick both of those labels on the inside cover and I'll show you what the finished product looks like in just a moment. Okay, so your folder should look something like this. Of course, yours will have your name on it on the front and I've placed them there so they are stuck now. And then return to school on the left side and uh, keep it home on the right side. To set up our language arts folder, we're going to need our three labels, a folder, and also our notebook paper. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to write our name on the label that says ELA folder. Make sure you have your name on that. You will then place it on the front of your folder in the center. Once you've placed it, you'll open that folder. You're going to take your notebook paper. You're going to place it inside the left pocket like that. And now for our language arts folder, we're going to use these two pockets for two different things. The first pocket is going to be used for writing, and we'll be brainstorming using this notebook paper throughout the year. The back pocket will be used for any reading handouts that we might receive, and that will not be very many because most of what we do will be on our device, but just in case we want a spot for it. So I'll show you what the final product looks like once everything's stuck down in just a moment. I have my language arts folder, and of course your name should be on your label. On the front I have my label. On the left side, my writing label with notebook paper. On the right side, my reading label. And this is the folder we will use for language arts.